from the desk at Old Mates. You're watching Backyard Tech. All right. The vast majority of people are probably going to be infuriated with this video, but hopefully a couple of people that may be in the same boat as Old Mate is find this video handy. Last week I did a tech pickup and got a few bits and pieces that are really handy. One of them being this. The only problem is it ain't working. It's troubleshooting time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, I want to get this going. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is troubleshooting time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for a Tuesday. And I've got to work on this because I want this one going. This is one of these Toshiba NB550D netbooky, laptopy, notebooky things as far as I'm concerned. But I really want to get this unit going. The only problem is it is completely locked up. It has an HDD SDD password on it. Now, unfortunately, unless you put the password in, these things don't boot. And I've had success in resetting similar Toshiba devices in the past, which is why I want to do it with this one. Now, as I said, a lot of people are probably going to be infuriated about this, but hopefully those of you who are in a similar boat as old mate with one of these might find this video handy. Now... I want to get it going for a specific reason of which you guys will never find out because frankly when you do people rip into me for the reason behind it um so i want to get it going so let me go and get a couple of screwdrivers the video camera and i'll show you how i reset these things all right so what we want to do get the battery out of it first now this isn't obviously going to fix your problem everyone's going to be saying oh yes it does yes it does I'm going to take out these screws. Simply unclip it. <clears throat> okay. So there are two ways to do this. Alright. First off, get your RAM out. Oh God knows nothing. And get your hard drive out. How big is this hard drive? Hmm. 200 and you might be able to just see there 250 gig all right now the 550 55d sorry is different to the 505 all right you need to keep in mind that what you want to do all right is you want to get the bios battery out and just see it there all right so i want to try and pull that out of there I'm going to use a screwdriver to lift it up, like so. And what you want to do is you want to wait. Um, I normally give this about five minutes, okay, to try and drain out. Now, this doesn't always work. And if it doesn't, there is a second way you can wipe the BIOS on this thing, all right? Um, you need a thin piece of wire. And you need, there's a little trick. And if you're like me and you've got fat fingers, I'd suggest you get a pair of pliers to do it to make sure you get it accurate. So we will come back shortly. And hopefully the BIOS has been deleted because the problem is this thing had a, it's got a HDD, SDD password, whatever you want to call it, which also prevents you getting into the BIOS. Um, so i'm going to trash it we're going to come back in five minutes and we're going to see if it solves the problem if it hasn't we'll go on to the second way of resetting this all right so now this takes the same power supply you can't really see it anymore <laughs> takes the same power supply as my big toshiba laptop so what we're going to do is put the battery back in all right Try and put the battery back in. <laughs> Old mate's an idiot, he doesn't know anything. Alright. Now, for those that know these systems, we also know of 
how much of a pain they are to put the hard drives back in. They are a uh, extremely tight fit. <clears throat> and if you don't get it dead on, it doesn't slide in properly. I've made a bit of a mess of that, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, who cares? Alright, now, for the sake of mucking around, I'm just going to put the cover back on. I'm not going to screw the cover down because if the theory hasn't worked, we're obviously then going to have to move on to the other way of making sure that the BIOS uh, and everything is reset. I'm on fingers and thumbs this morning. Right. So as I said, it takes the same power supply as my big Toshiba. I'll be able to just see it there. The orange light. Okay. Now, again, this has the Harman Kardon system on it, which we are all familiar with. Why do I say that? Well, I am. So if I am, we all know it. All right, let's see if this has solved the problem. Let's see if we can now get into the bias. We still cannot get into the BIOS. All right, whoa. That wasn't supposed to happen. Okay, so we still can't get into the BIOS. So now what we've got to do is the other trick. And the other trick is very, very, very difficult. And as I said, if you're like me, it's very hard to um, do anything. Actually, let's just test a theory. Before we do that, let's just test a theory here. Ah, we can now get into it. So that's good. So if we go to F2, we should be able to now get into the BIOS, which we can. So that's interesting. The BIOS password is written to the hard drive. Now that I've never seen before. So what have we got here? We've got an AMD C50 proc. Oh, you guys can't actually see it, can you? Um, hang on. See if I can zoom in a bit for you. Um, hang on, let's move it out of the road a bit. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. So we have an AMD C50 at a gig, 2 gig of RAM, no BIOS password. Okay. There's not much in this, is there? So it's a one gig with two gig of RAM. Hmm. Um, well, I know what I'm going to use it for. I've already decided that. So that should be reasonably good. See what we've got here. Yep, it's pretty good. Um, all right. Well, that's good. That solved that problem. So that drive's had it. That'll get chucked out. At least now I can get into it. See, with the other Toshiba unit, um, I think it's the. And someone, someone will yell and scream at me because I haven't got my facts right. But I vaguely remember, I think it was the NB, it's either the 505 or 515 of this machine. Okay. Um, basically, I, I guess I can sort of show you, 
show you it. If I just turn this off a minute. Um, so we've got our BIOS battery here, okay. And as I said, I can't. It's been so long since I've done one. And that's why I said I don't remember whether it's the 505 or the 515. I can't remember. But under the RAM, which is, if I take the RAM out, hang on, there's a little jumper just here. All right. That looks like a, I think it's a, for memory, it's a U or something. But basically what you would do, instead of having a BIOS battery, I think these the, the other one has like a super cap. Um, and you would short the super cap out. Now we all know what super caps are, okay? Um, so I, I think Toshiba called it a super cap, but you'd short it out to ground, okay? And that what that would do is blow away the everything, right? So you blow away the everything. So that's good. That's actually worked a treat, which is nice because what it now means is that I have a little unit here. That I can now use um, and I know exactly what I'm going to use it for um, with regards to where I've been last weekend it would have been a lot handier to have this but uh, that's actually a really good little system so now that I can actually use this and the good thing with this also is it actually, and this is this is the other reason um, with the tech stuff that I picked up last week, I've actually wanted something like this before, right? Because it actually is very handy for one reason. See, the problem I've always had is when I've got to go and fix something, I've got to take my big laptop case. But with this... I can just slide it into my um, repair bag but I carry you know stuff that I need to carry so like that which is really good obviously the only problem is I've got to carry a power supply but my hope is that the battery on this if you can see it there the battery is still good all right and that being the case it means that I can just you know put it in there and whatever I've got to go and fix I can go and fix so there we are um, I know what operating system I'm putting on this anyway so that will uh, that will not change um, but basically we're we're good to go so and the other good thing with this too and I've, I've noticed this over the last few years as well as as we all know the Toshiba's had a deal with Harman Kardon, right there, um, Harman Kardon for a lot of their laptop speakers, which is really good, really good, so there we go, troubleshooting a NB550D, little netbooky thing, anyway, that's it, have a good one.